Hi. Hi. So, how did it go? It didn't go well. Okay, this is why I love when you all think on a different level than I do on certain topics about these shows. Now, in the promo, um, the lawyer that's working with Zach and Fatima for the custody of Michael, he comes out from court and tells them, like, look, I just met with the judge, and to be honest, it doesn't look good. It did not go well. And based on whatever news he tells Fatima, and Zach about Michael, it's not a good look because, or it's not a good situation that has them positive about the future of the custody battle because um, Fatima's hugging Zach, and this is right before Hayden rolls up with his BS about, you know, the whole Tamara situation, and um, people were like, you know what, Jeremy, maybe it boils down, now some people are saying, it's because they found out Michael isn't Zach's son, no, I don't think that's it. Some people were like, Jeremy, it might be due to Zach's past because despite Zach doing good now financially, he has a career and whatnot, he's been keeping his nose clean for the most part, he still has a criminal record. Now, I looked this up and I typed it on Google. Does a criminal record hurt a parent in a custody battle in the state of Georgia? And custodyexchange.com and a few other websites gave a similar answer. A history of crime violence and or substance abuse can negatively impact a parent's custody battle. Courts consider parents past behavior when deciding custody orders and a parent has the right to access the other parent's criminal record and documents related to misconduct. And well, it was kind of a running joke in like the earlier seasons. Zach's like, I've been to jail like 17 plus. I've been to jail a bunch of times. And if that's the case in terms of the court, yeah. It goes back to like, uh, was it in Sisters or is it Team? I think it was the Team of Season 1 before Fatima and Zach went on that jog and ran into Ian, where she's like, um, ooh, we need to go on a vacation or somewhere like in Europe and one night. And Zach was like, you know, I can't do all that because because uh, Zach said, let's go down to Florida. I don't want to go to no Florida. It's like, I want to go to Europe or Spain or something. Well, I can't due to my criminal record. I can't just leave the country. So yet again, and look, I know this is going to sound weird. I'm actually happy this could be the case. Jeremy, why? Yet again, I love it when we finally see these characters dealing with the consequences of their past actions. And I like that if this is the case, Tyler is going back to like, yeah, you know, Zach is, a, you know, doing good now, but he still has a record and that impacts his present and future. So I like this. I like it because it shows that Zach is doing everything he can to get his son, but yet his past is always catching up to him. And it isn't always another person yelling at him being a baby daddy or whatnot. It's like, no. The other poor choices he made in his life outside of sleeping around are impacting the better future he's trying to create for himself. So, yeah, this is really going to bring the man down even more than he already is. But I just like the fact that we could see Zach come out of this as a better man for it. You know, he'll try to reach around, you know, in a different direction in order to get his son away from his current living situation. And it sucks to see him depressed, especially when you look at how the sisters continue to just date around even after they make their own poor choices. But think about it this way. Danny just lost Preston. Andy's been outed in terms of her, uh, well, technically Gary's the one who's been outed in terms of his cheating ways. But Andy's dealing with repercussions because now Jordan's sister is constantly running up in her face trying to, you know, talk. And Andy's going to have to tell the whole truth. So, I really want to see how things play out. Now, Sabrina, well, she played bio, so I wonder if that's going to impact things with her job uh, when she talks to her boss next week. Not saying that bio was going to do anything, but I mean, you know, I just want to see how things play out with her. I mean, well, technically, she's already dealt with consequences because the way she clings to Maurice led to her losing her job for a while. Um, then Karen, well, she's actually trying to do better, so I can't fault her in this particular video. But, yeah, overall, Zach's past could be a detriment to him getting custody of his son. So, I wonder how things are going to play out, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think the courts denied Zach the, uh, opportunity 
to take custody of his son because of his past criminal record. Like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and select all, and I'll catch you in the next video.